Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. I've got a comment from the uh, first episode here. Uh, Mazu Zuri, I had completely forgotten about this little gem of a game. Love to see a playthrough. Well, that's what I'm doing, dude. As long as this fucker don't like permanently break, I intend to go all the way through this sucker. And maybe, possibly, uh, Elite Force 2, maybe. Don't hold me to it, but, you know, I'll, I'll probably try to play through it, you know, um, off camera myself to see if I can beat that one spot that caused me to rage quit so many years ago. So we'll see. And uh, finally, some guy says, uh, yeah, that does look like the wrong way. Well, yeah, it was the wrong way, of course. But hey, shit happens. Anyway, guys, thanks for your comments. And let's get into this. All right. Here we have some clues. Like I thought, power's out. It is likely we would be blown out through the hull breach should we open the door just yet. We must restore the environmental integrity of the hangar bay before we continue. It looks like there's a computer console on the upper level. Maybe we could restore power there. Mr. Monroe, find a way up there and see what you can do. Hmm. Is it a jumping puzzle? It kind of looks like one. Now let's figure out an alien computer console that we've never seen before. We have no idea what these guys even look like so much as, or even, we don't even know what the fuck they look like in as much as their language or anything else. But we'll push the right button and turn on force field. field. Environmental settings are normalizing. Good, we can take these helmets off. No, leave them on until we get to the control room. Yeah. We can secure environmental integrity to the awesome. entire vessel. Mr. Chell, you may now open the door. Lead the way. Yeah, yeah, I got point, as per usual. Yeah, no shit. Mr. Chell, if you would. Come on, Blue Man Group, open the fucking door. Is he fucking broken? No, he's not. He just way the fuck off in the middle of nowhere. Nice to see everyone has elevator buttons and the same basic configuration. Okay, you can like wander your asses in here at some point. <sighs> Gotta love that AI. I mean, they're not even covering the rear, you know, they're just sort of just fucking off. Jesus Christ, you have to be like 14 kilometers away, man, what the hell?
you got like life support capsules or stasis capsules or something. These look like. I guess there was a crew after all. A small crew, perhaps. So where are they? Harvesters. I'm sure we'll find out soon. The control room is still one deck above this one. We must get to that elevator. Chang, see if the debris can be blown clear. Shell, find a layout of this deck. Satlos, you and I will attempt to force the jammed door. Monroe, Murphy, see if there's an alternate route. I don't know, sir. I don't think this door can be opened without moving whatever's blocking it on the other side. Mr. Chang, what is okay, your fuck. Um, No good, sir. I'm also starting to get a little bit of sun in my eyes, so... This material is so high, my dead packs would barely scratch the surface. Is there a button to push to open like this? I mean, what the fuck? On the other side. But... Nope. I can't get much out of this terminal. It's pretty badly damaged. Watch it. Well, hey, stand right in the fucking way where I'm trying to open a goddamn hatch. So you know, I don't want to hear it. Okay, so is there a way up here? Is there a fucking flashlight button that would make it a little easier for me here? No, no light source. Great. So this guy's gonna stand here and play with himself. Okay, there has to be something in this fucking room. I will be right back. Yeah, I couldn't remember exactly how to fucking do this. Yeah. Shaft. Yeah, miracle of fucking miracle. Ah, shit. Miracle of fucking miracles. I can see Monroe got around. Mr. Monroe, see what's jamming the door. Okay. Okay, there's a way to move this fucking laser. I remember that. Ah, oh, here we are. Okay, no, here we go. Okay, what the fuck? Come on, something, do something. That's down. That's not fucking where I want to go. Or that way. Okay, I guess that's uh that way. What a pain in the fucking ass.
Ah, oh, shit. People, come here and open the fucking door and let's get on with this. Yeah, actually, we're pretty close to the end on this. Uh, this is the... Uh, gunship uh, mission and then next is going to be the final mission yeah it's not a terribly long game which is okay because you know I mean for the time period like what was it 2000 2001 somewhere around there uh, at that time games were on CDs so you know they had to fit a lot of content on a relatively small piece of media I mean at that time you know CDs were between 650 and 800 megabytes and it wasn't really that small but even before that there were games that took up multiple CDs this one just happened to take up one from what I can recall and of course the expansion pack took up more I like one more I believe what the scavengers it's them watch it What were the doing? Looks here? like they were trying to get into the control room. They couldn't get this door open, though. See that you fare better, Mr. Chell. Yes, sir. What a disaster area. Maybe the crew made a last stand against the officers here. Let us hope the control room is in better condition. Looks like they put up a fight. Not that it did them any good. That was fast. I wouldn't be much of a technician if I couldn't open a door. Don't even make me say it, you blue-skinned bastard. Alright, two Vogue, get your shit done, and we're gonna replace you with three Vogue. Chell, seal the door in case there are more scavengers. Hey, this room looks pretty much on top. <coughs> the harvesters must not have made it this far. The crew must have stopped them. But it cost them their lives. Awesome. Obviously, a gunnery position. These controls appear to be operational. Looks like we got plenty of time to spare. Finally, something went as planned. Never fucking say that. An Don't ever say that. Has been restored. You may now remove your helmets. You're assuming they breathe the same air. Something. Looks like an audio log. Can you play it back? Yeah, I'm processing it through the translator now. Help me! Help me! Ah! They're tearing through the hall! Our weapons are useless! I can't! The defense systems are cut off! We're going to be slaughtered! No! No! Get back! No! No! Ah! Ah! Somebody help us, please! They're killing us all! Tearing our ship apart! They're unstoppable! Ah! Oh my god. Distractions are not going to aid us in achieving our objectives. <laughs> 
That must have been the harvesters. Mr. Chell, control yourself. They're gonna tear Voyager apart. That is precisely what we are here to prevent. However, there has been a setback. Oh no. Guess I spoke too soon. I can aim the gunship and fire it from here. But the loading mechanism seems to be malfunctioning. The charge will have to be loaded manually. Ensign Monroe, take a small team to the barrel here and ride the maintenance tram to the end. The plasma focusing router here is misaligned, cutting off power to the firing mechanism. You will have to adjust it. Then make sake. your way down to the firing chamber. Once there, you have to load the energy round into the firing chamber. When you've loaded the charge, I will then be able to fire the gunship. All right, Chang, Satlos, you're with me. Chell, you and Telsia stay here. <sighs> I thought he was going to pick me. Hey, don't worry, the ship's deserted. Should be no problem. I have disabled all the security locks on the lifts and doors in the rest of the vessel. You should have no difficulties proceeding from here. Yeah, that looks like a good spot to call it, guys. Uh, like I said, uh, these later levels are really fucking long, so uh, probably good to break them up. So with that, guys, I will catch you next time, and we will go load the huge fucking or huge honking space gun and then shoot something with it. So I will see you guys then.